Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program uh, is back with another dynamic draw and this is uh, for this French skilled worker stream. Now, uh, those of you who don't know about it, learning French can be a great advantage for you. Uh, the requirements are that you need to have at least CLB 7 in, in French, all right? And at least CLB 6 in, in English, all right? So if you have uh, these two CLB levels at the least, then you are eligible for this program. So this is the basic criteria, all right? No, no knock specific. You need to be in the express entry pool with these CLB level at the very least, all right? And apart from that, yes, um, you need to qualify. You need to be eligible as a federal skilled worker or a Canadian experience class, right? You need to obtain those 67 minimum eligibility points. So in this draw, they selected uh, 460 uh, as the lowest CRS and 467 as the highest CRS. All right. So uh, uh, know this that uh, they kept this uh, CRS range or rather CRS cap at 467. Why? Because uh, keep in mind that minister has announced that uh, uh, the July draws will be all program draws. So people above 467. Uh, they might have declined OINP ITA, all right? No, uh, I know that uh, we have been telling people that even if your score is 496 or uh, like that, and you get a PNP invite, you should go for that. You should not wait for the federal draws, all right? Uh, but still, uh, there are people who decline these invitations from provinces. So uh, that's the only reason, in my opinion, why um, Ontario has come back with the cap because previously in the last draw they removed that cap and they uh, selected people up to 600 like uh, this is the maximum possible CRS for a candidate without having an, uh, an a PNP nomination already from a province right so obviously if you had a PNP nomination Ontario won't be inviting you right so uh, below 600 CRS Ontario invited um, the French streamed worker right but uh, in this draw, the, they have kept the cap at 467. Now, the, um, now this uh, will imply that CEC class, FSW class, if your score is 467, then you need to work your butt off to improve your score because below 467, no chances for federal draws. Uh, like This is an implication from it, right? And also, Ontario um, made two blunders in in 2020 when federal draws were going on and they invited people with such high CRS like 475 and those people would obviously decline the ITA because uh, two reasons one for Ontario you need to pay 1500 uh, Canadian dollars as uh, the provincial nomination program fee of Ontario 1500 dollars and apart from that you will need to work and live in Ontario so like you get an opportunity from Alberta so you cannot ethically move to Alberta without having exhausted all the options all the opportunities and, and your efforts in Ontario so like there is a restriction for a PNP nominee so uh, these, for these two reasons people go for federal programs but uh, in current scenario I believe if they had kept the CRS score um, maybe to 476 477 still people would have gone for that and they would have resultantly gotten a great human capital from these people from these candidates right but um, uh, this is what Ontario has gone with and uh, I believe this is not a blunder because they want people to be invited to be accepting those invitations right so with these words this is Alif Dakar and I'm hoping great things are coming your way. And a postscript note, if you don't have any chances for Canada, uh, then maybe you ought to learn French CLB7 and OINP French string could be your bane, right? So bye-bye.